three, two, one. MDS two. We have ignition. We have a liftoff. Voyager 1 was launched around 45 years ago into space by NASA and has been working perfectly since. But recently, the probe has been sending some strange signals which are causing serious confusion to scientists on Earth. Voyager 1 was launched on September 5, 1977, nearly two weeks after its twin, Voyager 2. And as of August 2022, it was roughly 14.6 billion miles, 23.5 billion kilometers, away from our globe, making it the furthest distant spacecraft ever sent from our home planet. But before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Future Collective, for more amazing videos just like this one. With that out of the way, let's get to it. Both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were launched in the same general direction, but once they reached Saturn, they split out in separate directions in the solar system. While Voyager 2 is working just perfectly, there are some strange incidents taking place on the Voyager 1 spacecraft. In 2012, Voyager 1 broke free of the heliopause that is created by the Sun's solar wind and is now traveling through interstellar space. The spacecraft is transmitting some strange signals from the equipment that maintains the spacecraft orientation relative to the Earth's surface. This equipment is called the Attitude Articulation and Control System, abbreviated as AACS. Even though Voyager 1 is still within the Sun's gravitational pull, something is causing it to transmit strange signals. Readings from the Attitude Articulation and Control System do not correspond to what Voyager is actually doing in space. The Voyager team believes that the AACS is still operational for the time being, although the data readings from the device appear to be either random or impossible. The problem with the system has not yet caused anything to happen that would send the spaceship into safe mode. When the safe mode turns on, only actions that are absolutely necessary are carried out, and the rest of the systems shut down, so that engineers can diagnose a problem that could put the spaceship in danger. Since the signal from the Voyager remains as strong as it has ever been, it can be concluded that its antenna is still directed toward the Earth. The team is currently investigating to find out whether the misleading data is being produced by the instrument itself or whether it's being caused by another system in space. According to a statement from NASA, until the nature of the issue is better understood, the team cannot predict if this would affect how long the spacecraft can gather and transmit data. In a statement, Suzanne Dodd, the project manager for Voyager 1 and 2 at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, stated that a mystery like this is sort of normal to expect at this stage of the Voyager mission. Both of the spacecraft had served nearly 45 years in space, which is significantly longer than what the mission planners had planned. We have also entered interstellar space, which is a region of extremely intense radiation that no spacecraft has ever traveled through before. Therefore, the engineering team faces a number of significant problems, but I have faith that our team will figure out a solution to the problem with the AACS if there is one with it," Dodd stated. She also mentioned that if the team doesn't figure out what's wrong, they might just get used to it. Or if they can find the problem, they may be able to fix it by making a change to the software or by using a backup hardware system. Voyager has been using backup systems to last as long as it has. The old probes only make a small amount of power each year, so over the years, subsystems and heaters have been turned off so that critical systems and science instruments can keep running. Voyager 1 and 2 are the only two spacecraft that are capable to collect data from interstellar space and give info about the heliosphere of the Sun, so it's necessary to protect them from any harm. With that, our video has come to an end here. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Future Collective, and hit that bell icon for more future-related content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.